Super Sunday, guys. Warm up, six minutes, five calories on the assault bike. Then 10 active Spider-Mans. From a push-up position, step the foot just outside the hands, sink the chest down to the floor. 10 reps total, five per side. Then 20 single arm kettlebell deadlifts. That's gonna be 10 on each arm. You're gonna stand with that kettlebell off to the side. Feet are in a narrow stance. Try to keep your hips and shoulders square to avoid leaning towards the side of the dumbbell. Hips and knees push back as you lower the kettlebell. It should touch right around the front of the toes on each rep. After you finish your six minutes for quality, then we'll do a little bit of mobility, starting with a pigeon pose. We're gonna go a little bit longer because it's Sunday, so two minutes per side. Carly, what should we focus on on the pigeon pose? Awesome, so two minutes per side in this pigeon. If you spend enough time here, you'll be able to lay down and get comfy. Two minutes in the couch stretch. Should we be doing this while watching TV on the couch at home? That's what's named after, right? Yes. Because then if you have poor ankle mobility, it doesn't bother your ankle because your foot is sitting on top of the couch. Mm -hmm. And then after two minutes per side, one minute in the overhead stretch against the wall. Yep, hands about eye level, a little bit wider than the shoulders, pushing the head and chest down towards the ground in this position. What if this is a uh, painful, say, in the elbows? We didn't prepare for this. I'm just, this is just a pop quiz. If this is bothering your elbows, most likely you have really tight forearms and triceps. So try rolling those out first. There we go. Good. Sunday's class workout is called Copy Paste. 50 or 35 calorie bike. That's going to take anywhere from two to four minutes. Hop off your bike. Then we're going to do three rounds of 15 American kettlebell swings, followed by nine burpees. For the kettlebell swing, we want to let the kettlebell swing back through the hips want to keep the hands up high. So the uh, think about letting your forearms touch the hip bones at the bottom. We don't want the kettlebell to swing lower than the knees. Bad. 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 That's going to overextend the back and put you in a less advantageous and efficient position. After your 15 swings, nine chest to floor jump and clap burpees. Want to focus on pushing the hips up off the ground fast. That's gonna help you get your feet underneath your hips and then stand and jump and clap. So after those three rounds of 15 swings and nine burpees, you'll do another 50 or 35 bike, another three rounds of kettlebell swings and burpees, and a final 50 or 35 calorie bike to bring it home. Sunday's home gym variation. All you need is a single dumbbell, 42 single arm dumbbell Russian swings. You can alternate, or you can do half on one arm followed by half on the other. Switching hands after 21 reps, or if you have a light dumbbell available, just do a full 42 on each arm. Probably not that, we don't need to switch. Carly's just showing off. Okay. So just like the kettlebell swing, try to keep the forearm near the hip bones. Swing back as you keep the dumbbell above the knees. Push the hips back and forward to move it. Then you'll perform 42 burpees. Oh my, that's a lot for home. Then 30 Russian dumbbell swings and 30 burpees, then 18 and 18. Have a great Sunday. Have a great week of training, guys. Let us know if you uh, wanna see any more specific demo videos or movements, more burpees. Can you do a backflip burpee? Have you seen those gymnasts doing that, Carly? No, she can't do it.